everybody. Today we're going to paint a kind of frosty, wintry scene. Um, I would say for the rest of my videos up until the holidays, they'll probably be holiday themed. So today we're going to do a chickadee sitting on top of a birdhouse with kind of a snowy background and some pine branches. So I'm using a stretched canvas here. This is 12 by 18. So it's not really a typical size that I normally use, but it's just one I had lying around. So I thought, why not use it for this one? I have a very simple sketch here. Um, you may want to pause the video now if you want to do your little sketch. Or you can also look in the news feed. I'll put a picture of this. So basically a simple birdhouse shape with a post that it's sitting on. And then we have our chickadee shape, which is basically an oval, but a little kind of indentation on one side. So that's all you're going to need. For paint, this time what I'm doing, I'm using my student grade paint that I teach my classes with. So really it's it's um, not a professional quality paint, but I wanted to show you that you don't need the expensive, really expensive paints in order to go ahead and start painting. So these are a thinner consistency so that we don't have to kind of fool around with trying to thin them out and that kind of thing. Now, if you have the paint in tubes, thicker paint, then of course you can use that too. So very simple color palette for today. We have black, brown, white, red and green and you can use any shade or change it up it doesn't have to be these exact colors for brushes i'm probably only going to use about three so my first brush is a big wide kind of old brush this is an angle brush but yours doesn't have to be and we're going to use that for our background that's a one inch and then i'm going to use a half inch flat and something small with a point this is a number four round so it has a nice point on the end so just an assortment of smaller brushes will do you so the first thing we're going to do, I'm gonna make kind of a mixy gray background. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in my white paint and I'm gonna take just a hint of black just to make kind of a gray, but I'm not gonna stir it till everything mixes perfect. And we just kind of want a mixy sort of gray background. Not gonna go too crazy blending. I want it to be like a little darker in some areas, a little lighter in others. If I go over my bird a little bit, it's not gonna make a big, difference you can always pencil it back in later So we're going for just this kind of mixy gray background. And like I said, 
we won't worry about our little bird. I can still see my pencil outline, but if you paint over it, just once your canvas is dry, go ahead and pencil it back in. go and we'll rinse our brush the next thing I'm gonna do is give my birdhouse I'm just gonna turn my canvas just a slight bit I'm gonna give my birdhouse one coat of red paint using my half inch brush now the paint I'm using it is a student grade paint so the red is a little sheer which is fine because I'm gonna do a couple layers so for the first layer I'll put it on not gonna overwork this just one quick coat of red paint We won't worry about seeing lines or brush strokes because, hey, we're using a paintbrush. You're gonna see brush strokes. You're gonna see lines. It's okay. There we go. So now what I would normally do, I'd let this dry, I'd fan it with a plate or something. But for our video purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a blast with my hair dryer so that I can move on to the next step. So for my next step, I'm going to put my branches in. So I'm taking my small round brush and just some brown paint. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to carefully draw very simple branches, keeping in mind where our bird is, because I don't want my branches or my pine needles to come out on top of my bird. So I'm going to do one up here about like that and I'm gonna have two coming off that one there and one there that's the first one and I do one about roughly halfway down my canvas about here and I'm gonna have a couple coming off this there and let's do one right there. So that's my two branches. There we go. And we'll move on, we'll let those dry for a little bit. And we'll go back to our birdhouse. Take your half inch flat brush again. Just your red paint. I'm gonna give this a second coat of red. I just love Christmas paintings with this um, color scheme. Just the red, the green. Looks so nice together with the gray and black and white. So a quick coat of red again once your first coat is dry. Now, I'm not gonna rinse my brush, but I am gonna pick up a little more red 
and then just a little hint of black on my brush. And we're gonna start from the top and we're gonna pull through that wet paint we just put on to give it this little bit of black shading. Almost gives it a rustic feel. So one piece of advice, guys, do not put a lot of black on your brush. Black is so strong that it will completely cover everything. So it's better to do just a hint of black on your brush and bring it to your canvas and just see how it is. If you need more, then you can re-dip your brush and pick up a little more black. But it's better to do too little than too much. Much easier to add black than it is to take it away. So there is our black detailing on our birdhouse. I'm gonna dip in black paint, pick up a whole bunch more black paint now, and I'm gonna do kind of the roof with just one width of my half inch brush. And if you have enough black paint on your brush, you should be able to do this in one brush stroke. Very simple. Then we're gonna do one across the bottom, but you're gonna come out slightly. So that's the little ledge. Like that, and pick up a little more black paint and we're gonna do the post. There we go. I'm going to give my brush a little rinse. Pat dry. And I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of white paint on my brush now. So just a little bit of white. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna catch this black while it's wet. And I'm just going to do some little brush strokes across my black, just to give a little detail, a little kind of a highlight. There, and we'll do a little bit down here. I have a little too much up here. Let me smooth it out a little bit. So that just gives just a slight highlight slash kind of a wood grain look. I'm gonna give this another blast with a hair dryer now. Oh. See guys, accidents happen. I had a little water droplet there. Let's see if we can fix this. There we go. So the next part I'm going to do is my little chickadee. This is not going to be a highly detailed, I need to pull this in a little bit chickadee, but I'll show you a simple way in just a few steps. So we're going to take our smallest pointy brush. You're not going to want a tiny brush like a little liner. It needs to be at least, you know, this big, kind of a number, that's a number four. And we're gonna take a little bit of black paint. Now for our chickadee to start out, 
he gets a little kind of feathery top on his head like so and it comes right down this is going to be his front of his face here then he gets one coming across what I'll call his neck and notice how I'm doing these just little short brush strokes I'm not pulling a long smooth brush stroke because I want this to look kind of feathery then we continue this down the side our short little brush strokes till we get almost to where it meets up with the top of our birdhouse and you can make him as chubby as you want the chubbier the better so that's our black and you can see he's starting to come to life we also need to give him a little tail I'm gonna start right about here with just black and just pull a little bit out like that, wisping the ends. Let's give our brush a rinse. And then I'm gonna pick up just white paint. And I'm gonna come right beside, and you're gonna to wanna to catch this while it's still wet, your black is still wet, because we want our white to slightly overlap, making these little brush strokes so we kind of turn a little bit gray. And we're gonna do the same thing, white paint to his head and what I'll call his cheek. Just like that. Let's give our brush another rinse. And let's start on the other side. His breast is mostly white. So you're gonna to wanna to leave your paint a little bit thick here. Do a few little brush strokes and then stop. So notice the left side of his breast is the whitest. There's that. Rinse your brush again. Take a little dab of just brown paint on your brush. And usually a chickadee will have a little bit of brownish color right down around this area. So I'm just adding that hint of brown, just like that. Next, we're going to pick up just black paint with our pointy brush again. And we're gonna give him right here a little tiny pointy beak. I'm just gonna do a few more little dabs here. and we'll add some feet later if we need to. I'm gonna have a little bit of snow on the top of that. So I'll see, I may not need to add feet. A little black dot finishes off the eye. That's our chickadee. Not too, too hard. <laughs> Next, what I'm gonna do um, is our pine needles on our branches. So for that, I have my green, and this is like a real true kind of Christmas green. But what I'm gonna do, I have my half inch brush. I'm gonna take a little of my green. I'm pulling in a little black. So just a hint of black, just to give this a little more forest green color, I'll call it. So it's mostly green. It has a hint of black added. So it's a little more of a forest green rather than a bright green. And I have my half inch brush, which has a sharp edge. So we're gonna turn our brush on its edge and you're just gonna flick out from the branch
to make your pine needles. Then I'll do the next one. So I start at my branch and I just flick out. You may need to practice this first on a piece of paper or an old canvas. I'm using a light touch and making sure I have that sharp edge on my brush. I'm not gonna worry too, too much about in the middle here where it overlaps our branch because um, we're gonna put some snow on that later. Then we'll do this little guy. And you can keep going over these till you get them as fluffy as you want. Don't make them too sparse. You're gonna want them pretty fluffy. And there we go. Rinsing that green out of my brush and patting dry. Now I have to make a hole in the birdhouse. So I'm gonna pick up black paint. Now, if you have like a round sponge or something that will make a round mark, you can use that. Um, and a smaller brush. For me, I'm gonna use my half inch brush and I'm just gonna place it in the center and I'm gonna twirl it in a circle. May do it again, just to make sure I have it big enough. It may not be a perfect circle, but, it, whoops. <laughs> it's gonna keep getting bigger and bigger now, guys. I'm not gonna worry about that little smudge because I'm gonna put some snow on the edge, so that'll cover that. We're getting there, we're getting there. So guys, now this is another time you're gonna want everything to be dry before you move on to the next step. The next step is gonna be our snow. So for that, we don't want it to mix in with anything. We want our snow to stay bright white. So I'm gonna give it another blast with the hair dryer, and you can do the same. kind of an old brush to do my little bit of snow. I need something with kind of a round tip. I have this old Filbert brush. It's a number six, but it's kind of frayed out and scraggly. So I'm gonna use that to dab my snow on with. So for our snow, just white paint and when I do the snow I I make sure this white is extra thick and I don't over dab because if you do you're gonna end up pulling in some of the color underneath and changing your snow to like here green or brown for instance so I just kind of 
give a few little very lightly, very light dabs. And that's enough. And this is uh, why it's important for your background to be gray and not white because the snow won't show up if your background is really, really light. And I'm gonna put a little bit under his belly where he's perched. There. Let's have some coming down. The roof. Let's do a little bit sitting here. Cover up my little mistake. <laughs> And we'll do a little bit along the ledge on our birdhouse. I'm gonna move back to my small pointy brush that we've been using. And I'm gonna take a little bit of white on that. And I'm gonna give just a little hint of sort of icicles. So I take my white and I'm just kind of pulling it down a little. This gives a real frosty feeling. Let's do a little bit here and Lisa if you're watching this you know who you are you gave me the idea for the icicles because I think I'm pretty sure you did this and we did this in class a few weeks ago and one of my friends and painters Lisa who also I think follows me here I did the snow she added icicles and it was gorgeous so I'm taking her idea today so there is our little bit of snow now of course our finishing touch have to do this guys turn your brush upside down dip it in your paint and give yourself some snowflakes falling This really finishes it off. Just remember, these snowflakes are going to take an extra long time to dry because they're just little blobs of paint. So be careful that you don't smudge them. And there we go, guys. That is our 
wintry, snowy chickadee. And we will see you the next time. Oh, I'll push it up. There we go. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.